Thank you, Madam President. We strongly condemn the ongoing violent repression of peaceful demonstration in Sudan and the excessive use of force against those protesting the military coup, including the unlawful killing of 12 people and 100 injured as a result of use of live ammunition and the beating of the protesters by the security force. We call on Sudan to put an immediately end to all the violation and abuse. We call for an immediately end to the deployment of the security forces to manage the peaceful protest. The military and the security force have not been effectively reformed or held accountable for serious human rights violation against the protesters in 2019. We call on the military to immediately end its repression of the peaceful protesters and listen to legitimate demand of the Sudanese people. The shutdown of the internet and disruption of the communication service is deeply concerned and they must be immediately restored. And we call for an immediately and unconditional release of those arbitrary detained, including lawyers, human rights defenders, journalists, and students. All the perpetrators of human rights violation must be held accountable, including the military. And we urge Sudan to ensure fully access to a justice for women. And we urge Sudan to immediately reform the military and the security force and to ensure the civilian control both and grant it fully access to a civil society to participate in the process. And finally, we urge Sudan to ensure that the independent civil society can and safely participate and cooperate in good faith with the UN human rights system. I thank you.